Some of you may have noticed that the boys and or girls of Triple Jump are at least a little fond of video games, it's sort of the point of the channel. As such, it's safe to say that we're all prone to spending our hard-earned cash on nerdy gaming merchandise. It's a great thing to do as a video gaming fan, not only are you supporting the developers and artists behind a franchise you love, but also, you know, you, you get a cool thing to put in your household, usually something beautiful useful, or even an item that actually adds to the gaming experience itself. Of course, the other thing you may have noticed about the boys and or girls of Triple Jump is that we're weird AF, and regularly commit to silly decisions that would leave our parents utterly ashamed of the impulsive creature they produced. As such, I'm here today to tell you about some of the Video Game Collector's Edition purchasing opportunities that are, um, stranger than most but nevertheless, really rather tempting. We've already discussed this topic once before in a previous list, but there's just so much more out there ready for you to waste your hard-earned dollary dues on. So grab your anime pillow, pull up your branded panties, and hold your limited edition figurines skyward. I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are 10 more weird video game collector's editions. Number 10, Halo 3 Legendary Edition. Let's admit it, one of the main reasons that Master Chief is so iconic is just his badass gear. He's approximately 1,000 pounds of sheer awesomeness and a towering seven feet of Spartan godliness. What we wouldn't give to feel as epic as the Chief. <laughs> Me more than most, eh? So when Bungie released the Halo 3 Legendary Edition, we were hyped at the prospect of getting our hands on a life-size replica of his legendary headgear. Wow! The anticipation was real. Just imagine being able to see the world through the eyes of one of our favourite heroes. Uh, yeah, well, keep imagining. It turns out the helmet is completely unwearable. It's less an impressive cosplay piece and more of a glamorous doorstop. And if that didn't leave us salty enough, the casing of this special edition actually ended up damaging many discs, resulting in scratched or broken games come the day of release. Now, granted, this entry isn't quite as strange as what we're going to cover in the rest of the list, hence its number 10 spot, but we were nevertheless left utterly perplexed and annoyed by the decisions made here. In essence, the helmet was unwearable, the discs were unplayable, and our expectations unsalvageable. Number 9. Gal Gun Double Piece, Mr. Happiness Edition. I've had to rewrite this entry because the sheer number of oo-woos included in the first draft was nothing but obscene. Uh, don't worry, our scriptwriter is having an intervention meeting with Ben at this very moment. Not least because she keeps trying to include references to bonus panties in every list. Fortunately, I've been assured there's none of that here. So let's talk about the Gal Gun Double Piece Mr. Happiness Edition, which includes an exclusive quote-unquote screen cleaner for your digital devices in the shape of, oh for the love of, a pair of frilly bonus panties. At least it's on brand with the Railgun Shooter series, I suppose, which features a colourful academy full of cheerful female students who all seem far too eager to, uh, make friends with the protagonist. Of course, this still also comes with a classic collector's box, soundtrack, and wall scroll, but clearly the underwear is meant to be the main prize here. With over 450 panty designs to discover in the game itself, any mortal being would find themselves spoilt for choice when it comes to digital knickers, but this treasured screen cleaner is yours to keep in real life. So feel free to wipe away anything, and I mean anything, from your phone screen for maximum visibility when scrolling through the Gal Gun DeviantArt. <laughs> oh, I don't like it! Number 8. Far Cry 3 Insane Edition 
Satisfyingly enough, the insane edition for Far Cry 3 contains some decent additional content, including an exclusive single player campaign, extra missions, and four additional single and multiplayer packs. So far, so good. But god, who okayed the rest of this? For starters, the whole thing arrived in survival case packaging made of folded cloth, making it near impossible to display the entire bundle altogether. But the true nightmare here is the vast bobble. Head. Now, I get that this is meant to be tongue in cheek, but god, it's just really weird looking, done up in the form of a hula dancer with an uncomfortably intense, wide eyed gaze that penetrates your soul as he keeps nodding, nodding, always nodding, as if to say, Yes, Peter, you are still playing the game, as you barrel down a dirt road with a jeep full of honey badges and grenades, but in fact, you're not still in the game. You're speeding down the oncoming carriageway of the M1 in a Ford Fiesta, and those badges and nades are actually just your nan's cats and half a dozen satsumas, but you keep driving anyway because those radio towers aren't going to take themselves, eh, Vass? <laughs> eh, Vass? <laughs> I'm fine, really. I'm fine. Number 7. Death Stranding Collector's Edition If you've already got the special edition of Fear 3, featuring a light-up Alma, pregnant with her darling baby demon spawn, get ready to unexpectedly add to your fetus lamp collection with Death Stranding's Creepy BB Pod. Imagine having a steamed company over to visit and serving delicious canapes while directing their attention to the glamorous plastic baby incubator suspended above your mantelpiece. What a purchase, am I right? No doubt you could spend many a long night reading classical works like George Orwell's 1984 or the previous list's Dead or Alive Extreme Swimsuit Catalogue under the soothing glow of the nearby BB canister. <laughs> lovely. Just lovely. And let's not forget the additional digital content, including absolutely pimping gold attire tailor-made for the clumsiest delivery guy in video game history. Bright gold is a shocking and bold fashion choice indeed, but when facing down demons and extinction entities, you've got to look stylish. Sling on your creepy glowing baby, don those glittery sunglasses, and let's get walking and walking, and keep on walking, and even more walking, and, and just keep wa- oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Number 6, Hitman 2, The Collector's Edition I suppose initially one of the main draws of the Hitman 2 Collector's Edition was the ability to play the full game four days early. But we didn't care about that, no! Far more interesting to us was definitely the replica gun case housing a rubber duck, because collector's editions. This bundle was actually sold at $50 more than the gold version, which itself included new locations, missions, outfits, weapons, and a sniper map, as well as everything from the standard and silver editions of the game. But only a true Hitman fan, an owner of the coveted collector's edition, could flaunt such bonuses as their gun case, silver coin, bullet keyring, and this rather dapper quacker. Was it really worth it though for 50 big ones? Well, it depends. You could buy yourself an actual gun case for much cheaper than that, but if your bath time needs more assassination related peril and you can't convince the actual Agent 47 to get in with you and exfoliate your neck with his fiber wire, then the value for money duck may be just what you need. After all, even the most icy assassins need some me time, and what better way to relax after a hard day of murder than with some bubbles, candles, relaxing Himalayan throat music in the background, and the only tub buddy out there who's bolder and whiter than Agent 47 himself. On the other hand though, I kind of expected the gun case to contain an actual replica weapon of some kind. I mean, let's face it, even highly skilled assassin Agent 47 wouldn't be able to kill someone with a rubber duck, now would he? So I kind of feel like they should have gone- oh! Oh, okay, yeah, of course he did, sure. Number 5. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 The Juggernog Edition 
Here we have perhaps the ultimate example of a special edition game containing something decidedly odd, yet still amazingly useful. As well as tons of digital extras including the season pass, a giant bonus map, customizable weapon themes, and plenty more bonus content, the Juggernaug edition of Black Ops 3 contained, wait for it, a working mini-fridge modelled after the in-game Juggernaug machine. Many fans praised the quality of this edition for setting the bar for other equivalent bundles, preaching the perks of a Perca Cola unit. But brilliant or not, let's just take a moment to really consider just how strange it is for a person to receive an actual household appliance bundled with their new first person shooter game. The fridge can fit up to 12 12 ounce cans and keep them at the perfect temperature for all your pro gamer hydration needs. Though we're still waiting on vital confirmation as to whether it can safely protect a small Indiana Jones from a nuclear explosion or suitably chill those precious bottles of Fallout 76 dark rum. Mm. If you're having a few Black Ops friends over to enjoy a bit of co-op split screen, a rarity nowadays, there's also a pack of branded coasters bundled alongside the fridge to keep your gaming cave looking sharp. Now I'm just hoping that the next installment comes bundled with a microwave. <laughs> These pizza rolls aren't going to cook themselves, Treyarch! Number 4. Record of Agarest War, the really naughty limited edition. Okay, yeah, it appears the writer hasn't learned their lesson yet, and is still literally booby-trapping their scripts with this kind of filth! So let's take a cautious look at Agarest War's really naughty limited edition. Now once again, this is at least an example of a tat box being really on brand, if nothing else, so we have to give them that at least, but oh boy. This uh, impressively large collector's edition boasts quite a few cheap knickknacks, the most eye-catching of course being this ergonomic mouse pad, allowing the proud owner to rest their weary wrists upon the bosom of one of the <laughs> titular protagonists. I mean it's a good idea in a way, let's face it, the kind of person who buys this sort of special edition probably needs all the wrist support they can get. But that's not all! Throw in a pillowcase featuring yearning Ellis and you're well on the way to eternal damnation in the brimstone of hell, you dirty sinner. Booking the trend though, I'm afraid the one thing this package doesn't contain is a video game undergarment of some kind to add to your growing collection. The anime gods giveth, the anime gods taketh away, I suppose. Oh, and if you're somehow still perplexed as to what it is about this edition that deserves the label really naughty, fear not, for the publisher behind the English translation of this game actually released a very weird not safe for work trailer on how to thoroughly appreciate your new toys. And frankly, the production quality here is exactly what I'd expect from the company behind this mouse pad. Number 3. Resident Evil 2 Remake Premium Edition As we've seen more than once in this list, weird doesn't always mean bad. Capcom's back catalogue of games from the past 20 years proves this, from the niche god hand to the mainstream Resident Evil 4. Capcom isn't a company afraid to play around with tonal shifts, and that's what makes some of their games so endearing. Even in the stressful zombie fest of the Resi series, there are moments where you can stop, catch your breath, and soak up the eerie ambiance of one of the ever welcoming safe rooms. And herein lies the weird awesomeness of the Resident Evil 2 Remake Premium Edition. It includes a Bluetooth keyboard in the shape of the old school Lexington typewriters that you use to save your data in game. I mean, even within the game itself, the whole inclusion of random typewriters scattered all over a zombie ridden hellscape is super odd when you think about it, especially in the more modern games. But that lovable brand of quirkiness is exactly what we've come to associate with Capcom, so why wouldn't you want one of these in your house? Okay, it's not the most sophisticated of keyboards, and definitely one of the more unusual items to have ever come bundled with a horror game, but the nostalgia factor here, coupled with the calming Pavlovian association that these things inherently carry in-game, made the typewriter a must-have for fans of the series. It's a shame then that we're about to get a little more overtly horrifying, with number 2, Inside the Collector's Edition. 
Though this 2.5D platformer requires the player to solve environmental puzzles in a dystopian world in order to avoid grim death, the collector's edition makes a point of shoving death right in our faces. This whole game is incredibly dark and unnerving, with sparse use of colour to emphasise its surreal and haunting ambiance. Inside isn't afraid to present failure in harsh and graphic ways either. It's stark and blunt, and particularly bold in its portrayal of struggle, strife, and gruesome body horror. And the items included in this collector's edition convey those themes perfectly, hooray! Peek inside your new collector's edition and you'll see a lovely tumorous lump of limbs and organs, made by mannequin manufacturer Real Doll. And please, please do not Google mannequin manufacturer Real Doll. You will be banned from the internet. These guys specialize in realistic flesh creations, and in this case, have lovingly recreated in game abomination The Huddle. It's super realistic, super gross, and therefore super appropriate for the game's special edition. Oh, and you also get a figurine of the game's protagonist, curled up in the fetal position, for good measure. <laughs> Alright, okay, I don't want that either. This collector's bundle was kept under tight wraps with a limited run and secretive timed release. These marketing tactics fueled the mystique, mirroring the intriguing narrative of the game itself, while maintaining the dark and mysterious underbelly that the title is now famous for. And number one, Rage 2, the collector's edition. Ruckus, ruckus, singing salt. Do -da, do -da. I hate it. And that's our list. But what did we miss out? Let us know in the comments but what? Oh do I have to Alright fine but I'm, I'm doing it with my eyes shut. So here we have the Ruckus singing head. Presumably, it's all in the hands of the editor, to be honest. I've got no idea what you're seeing right now. As if those wall-mounted singing fish weren't annoying enough, check out this monstrosity. Yeah, it's voiced by musician and party legend Andrew WK, but that alone can't convince me to appreciate it. The fleshy mutated head can sing and chat about his glory days in the wasteland, which I'm assuming is meant to be the main draw for this pricey collector's edition, but <laughs> screw that. There's also a steelbook, poster, and an exclusive mission in the bundle, which could have been good, but if getting those extra items means I also have to purchase the head, it's fine, it's fine, I'll, I'll go without. I mean, sorry to break the fourth wall for a third time, but the scriptwriter has even included a note here saying there's still one of these on sale at their local game store that the owners literally can't get rid of. Absolutely no one wants it, apparently, and I can believe that. The singing ruckus head. It's hideous, it's weird, and it belongs in the bin. At the end. That's our list. Another 10 examples of odd, laughable, and otherwise creepy collector's editions. But are there any 2020 releases that have you eager for more weird special edition tat? Let us know in the comments section below. You can follow myself and Triple Jump on Twitter here, and if you want to support the things you enjoy, then check out the rewards on our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Peter from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.